Hello everyone, welcome to Porterfield Run Farm. We're gonna be at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market this coming Saturday from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. We're also gonna be at Melvin's Farmless Fork Store from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Deliveries will start after 2 p.m. this go around because we're gonna be attending two different farmers markets. So make sure you have your coolers out a little bit later. It'll be after 2 p.m. before your deliveries are started. And also our website will open up Thursday night at 8 p.m. and shut back down at Friday at 8 p.m. So you can be sure to go on there and order some chicken, salad, and whatever else we're gonna have on there. I imagine we might even have some radish if we're lucky. Uh, we're gonna have some various products. This weekend we're also gonna be selling the sweet potatoes. So keep an eye out for that too. We're finally gonna go ahead and release those out. Uh, they've been curing for around about a month now, so they should actually be sweet by now. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what's growing out here in the garden. We'll proceed with a quick walk through here. Looks like we've had some volunteers here, some volunteer tomatoes. That happens from time to time. Too bad for them, they're not going to make it. Have some really pretty lettuces growing through here as well. A little bit of kale, our numbers are still on the ground one of these days. One of these days. On our way to the second tunnel, you will notice that we have been able to get the plastic onto the hoops. So we are as ready as we can get for some cooler weather. Hopefully it does not happen though. Anything too bad that is. No snow, no snow yet. Some more kale growing, a lot more lettuce. Forgot I need to try and not bounce the camera around too much for you guys. But plenty of lettuce growing down through here. And next we'll go down to the second garden. Oh, if you may notice one thing, the plastic is not all the way down on this side. We got the plastic on, not anticipating wind to come about. Well, the wind has actually shifted the plastic before we had the uh, ropes tightened down. So we're gonna have to loosen those up, pull the plastic over and Fix that, it shouldn't take too much time, but the wind blew it over, kind of shifted all the plastic a little bit and we just didn't realize it. Let's go down to the second garden. The peppers are still going. We haven't had a frost yet, thankfully. Some more kale growing through here and sporadic carrots all over the place. Hopefully we'll have some of those at some point in time. Have some more radish, more radish through here. We have this tunnel up, ready to go. Just gonna have a few hacker right turnips there, some more radish. And I believe this bed right here, she had the crop of this bed of radish out. Asparagus is still looking well. And we'll do a quick shot through the tunnel. I think I can make it through. The beets, not many beets. We've been trying, but they just did not really want to grow for us this year. That's the way it goes sometimes. Also with the spinach. I don't know if we're gonna even be able to really harvest any of this. It's not turned out really pretty. We've replanted spinach in this area many, many times so far and just could not get it to go. So I doubt we'll have that for sale this weekend. Onions, some more onions. And some of the kale, it's amazing how this kale has survived being that tall. It always amazes me. We greatly appreciate it, everyone. And we hope to see y'all soon. Have a good one.